Theatre right now. It's St. Patrick's Day. Who thought this was a good idea? I'm going live on YouTube and Instagram simultaneously. So it's it's not that um, I'm not paying attention to you. I love all my children equally. Right. That's working. Lovely. Hello, everybody. We're here at the Garrick Theatre for the opening night of instructions for a teenage Armageddon. I'll pop the chat options on so we can see them. Hello, everybody. Oh, my God, hey. Do let me know if you can see me. About to say hello to Instagram. Bear with me. Or Instagram's being weird. What a time to be alive. Maybe that's Wi-Fi. Ooh. Oh, my God, hey. Hello. Hello, Dorset. Loud and clear. Thank you so much. You can see me, you can hear me. Good to know. We might have to send Instagram to YouTube because that one's working. That's fine. Hello, Sheffield. The red carpet is taking shape around me here at the Garrick Theatre in the West End for the press night of instructions for Teenage Armageddon. And at some point, Instagram may also join. We will see what happens. Hair looks amazing. Thank you. There's a lot of hairspray has happened today. I need a haircut. This is like, this is okay. I'm getting away with it. It's all of this at the back. Far too much. Um, but we're going to be meeting some exciting guests. Might be chatting to some creatives. We're going to see what's happening. Aaron James is currently here. If you want to say hello, Aaron James. Hello, everyone. Aaron's here by my side. I'll let, I'll let you have a look at Instagram. We've got a whole setup. The energy currently is um, that people haven't really started arriving yet because the show is not for another hour. But any minute now, this carpet is going to be a buzz. It's going to be a hive of exciting activity. So we shall see. <laughs> Sorry, we're just waiting to see. Instagram is being a problem, child. I don't think we can get on the Wi-Fi because we're too far outside. I'm going to stand here, I think, and welcome in guests adjacently. That's my plan. And if anyone is small, they can stand on a step. So it's all good. Um, I should tell you a little bit of context about this play. It's been written by Rosie Day, and I saw it years ago at the Southwark Playhouse. I saw it a few years ago, and it's now in the West End. It's playing at the Garrick Theatre on Sundays, because another play is in here Mondays to Saturdays. You're seeing all the ring lights in my glasses reflections. Very good point. And it's about um, a young woman, teenage protagonist, going through a whole host of things whole host of um, various different themes, various different issues. She joins the Scouting Association briefly. Um, uh, it's kind of like a flea bag for the adolescent generation. Think of it like that. And I'm just sort of vamping and standing by until we have um, some people to chat to, which should be happening momentarily and I'm just seeing if Instagram will cooperate which seat you in tonight I have no idea I don't know someone at some point will hopefully hand me an envelope with some tickets and I will go and sit there and watch the show that more often than not is my life I never know where I'm sitting hello Danny I am I'm live on YouTube just chatting to the tiny people in my phone Danny doesn't want to come and talk to you but Danny is an exceptionally talented West End theatre photographer um, who is here to take photos because that's his job um, if I have chat things I'm not seeing it live chat let's do live chat there we go have a great night thank you so much uh, we have lots of TV people coming tonight we have some theatre people coming tonight um, who will be pulling to have a chat with and also <laughs> almost the entirety of London is wearing green and hats for St. Patrick's Day, which, as Aaron pointed out earlier, makes it a year since we uh, went to New York, because when we got to New York last year, 
that was St. Patrick's Day, and now some people celebrating are uh, taking photos with the show Step and Repeat, because they're celebrating St. Patrick's Day, and evidently a lot of celebration has already happened before they arrived at this location. There you go. What a day to be in London. <laughs> What a day, what a time. That was a year ago. Yeah, first time we went to New York was St. Patrick's Day last year, one year ago. Um, thank you so much, thank you for the kind comments. I'll be springing into action any moment now and chatting to people. I might just have to record a thing for Instagram telling them to come over here. But will I be able to post it if I can't go live? What's the jumper you're rocking? I'll give you a full of you. It's ABBA. This is, it's a vest. It's a vest. It's an ABBA sweater vest from the ABBA Voyage show in East London. So that's what that about. Someone get me a barrier and keep the St. Patrick's Day people away. This is going to be a lovely combination of different crowds this evening, I can already tell. Uh, but yes, the, the sweater vest is from ABBA Voyage. I feel like it makes me, it makes me feel like I'm a young, trendy TikToky person, um, which I don't, I don't know if I am, or I know that I'm not, I should say. But there we go. We've got a whole technological setup going on over here. Aaron's trying to work his magic with the Instagram. This is as close as I can get to live theatre, so thank you for the stream. Oh my goodness. You're so welcome. I'm not going to be interviewing the St. Patrick's Day people. I fear for my microphone and my sanity. But they're having a lovely day. That's all I can tell you. That's all I know. Um, so, as I was saying before, I saw this play a few years ago. I don't even remember what year. It was before the end of the world. Katie, when did I see this at the Southwark? Southwark in 2021. In 2020? Oh, it was after, after the, end the end of the world. Yeah, it was January afterwards. Ah, you know, it's all a haze. <laughs> It was dark times after the end of the world. Um, I saw it at the Southwark, loved it. Lovely show. And fun fact for you all, Aaron James was working on that show professionally. Uh, he was doing the social media. And I went to go review it when I was just like writing reviews. And they kept using a lot of my quotes and socials. So I was like, oh, they must have liked my review. And did not know each other at the time, but he was using my stuff. Fun story. Um, yes, the St. Patrick's Day people. Yes, Susan, exactly what you are saying. It's all go around me here. Everything is happening. The exciting pre-press night buzz. This is unusual in and of itself, a Sunday press night in the West End. I feel like this happens sometimes in New York, if only because you get into that month in New York when like everyone's trying to find an opening night in that last month before the Tony's eligibility. Um, they're not teenagers, by the way, the St. Patrick's Day people, they are not teenagers. Oh no. How's everybody else doing? Anyone seen any exciting theater this week? Anyone seeing anything exciting next week? Let us know. I'll chat with you while I wait to chat with other people. When is Dolly opening in the West End? Later this year, but I'm getting a preview of it this week. So more news on that front. More news on that front soon. Uh, yes, that's, that's Jake who's doing the videography, who's getting a nice shot of you all by proxy, tiny people in my camera. You're all going to be famous. I'm seeing Moulin Rouge on Saturday. Enjoy, enjoy. That's a great show. I need to go back to Moulin Rouge because Tanisha Spring um, and I have and Dom Simpson, I haven't uh, gone back since they took over, assuming that you are talking about London. Maybe you're not. Can't wait to see Stereophonic. I've heard great things. I've heard great things. Got the Curve season preview tomorrow. Ah, oh, I thought about going, but too much too much up and down and this evidently is something of a weekend so I'm going to take tomorrow to sleep and then I'm going to an album launch for a new musical in the evening again more to see about that soon last week I went to see Standing at the Sky's Edge absolutely brilliant it is what a great show uh, I was talking about Moulin Rouge in London fantastic then enjoy Moulin Rouge in London Tanisha one of my favorite satines I've ever seen if not perhaps the favorite satine of mine I've ever seen. What are the chances of Newsies coming back to London? I loved it. It'll be back, it'll be back. They're waiting until they can get the space that they want, I think, but 
It's on its way. Any moment now, we will have guests to chat to about instructions for a teenage Armageddon at the Garrick. Um, while you're sorting that, maybe just like... There we go. Instagram is proving difficult. Uh, uh, we're having some tech things. It's very loud here with buses and people, um, but I'm hoping perhaps you can hear me. I saw Fantastically Great Women this week. I hope you enjoyed. I'd like to see Grace Moat in something. Maybe you will. Maybe you shall. Um, we have guests arriving. I think very soon we will have people to chat to, and that is exciting. Aaron, if you want to do some, the camera's in there. I'm trying to get something to move in from to you. Ah, I see. <laughs> there we go. We're letting Instagram know um, to head over to YouTube to catch us. Um, because this seems to be working. I think I'm about to get a guest to chat to. So this is exciting. I'm going to leave a gap just here. And any moment now, we'll have a guest. <gasps> Potentially. Possibly. Hello. Come chat to me. Come chat to me. Oh my god, hey. Oh my god, oh hey. My god, hey. Nice Very nice to meet, meet you. you. Yes. That's cool. How Hi. are you doing? I'm all right. Doing great. Doing great. Lovely. Nice spring weather. It's not wet, which is great. And yeah, well, it was. It looked like it was gonna be nice. It looked awful, and then it got a bit better, and now it's yeah. sort of. This. You, you you take what you can get from nowadays. Like oh, yeah. the this past is, how many days has been crazy. This is to be enjoyed in London. <laughs> Hi, These are the, the tiny people in my camera. That's amazing. Um, you're doing very exciting things at the moment. Yeah, we we, we trot along, you know, the actor's life, and it's nice. I, I've been really blessed and really fortunate, so I'm, I'm thank, yeah. thankful. Are you excited about seeing the show today? Absolutely. It's a young, new voice. Um, new work like this should be celebrated, and it's a straight play, yeah. which is great. You don't really get to see that in the West End often. Yeah. And I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be blown away. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. I think you will be. I saw this play years ago. Very excited to be seeing it again. Um, it's a really great flashback to like everyone's teenage lives. Right. Give us maybe a sense of what that looked like for you. What was your teenage bedroom like? Transport us. I was very stagey. And we love to I, hear it. I had all the cassette, cassette that dates me, oh my God, and CDs of original Broadway cash recordings. Uh -huh. I was from, uh, growing up in the Philippines, I had to wait eight to 10 weeks for an order to come in Gosh. for these original Broadway cash recordings. You really want it. Absolutely, and I was, you know, are very much in the Rob Madge frame, um, putting up my own show in my little bedroom with sheets and curtains and, and yeah, yeah, that was my teenage life. But then I also grew up in the boy band era oh. and I was in a boy band way back when. So yeah, that was that was life back then. Wow. Very exciting. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. Well, thank you for chatting Thank you, to us. thanks for having me. Hope thank you enjoy you. the show. Absolutely. It's lovely to see you. Bye -bye. <laughs> There we go, we had a guest. We've made friends today, everyone. We've done well here. I've been nervous about this all day, but that's the first one done. This is good. This is going well. How's everybody doing? If you saw Death Note, by the way, or Pacific Overtures, he was in those. He's about to be in a play at the Park Theatre. That was Joaquin Pedro Valdez. You might have seen him in Heathers at Theatre Royal Haymarket. Very talented. Um, and very stagey, which we love. I love an actor who really loves theatre, because so do I, because so do all of you. We can, we can bond about that. There is a step and repeat next to me that is blowing in the breeze, so I'm worried about all of you. I'm not gonna let you fall. Tiny people in my camera, don't worry. I've got you. You're actually tiny people in Aaron's phone today. We've got some I don't know that I can see all of the live chat, so do feel free to chat among yourselves, and if anyone has an answer to anyone else's question, chat among yourselves. I'm here to make friends on the red carpet today. Feel free to do the same. Does anyone want to come and chat to YouTube and Instagram? Come chat to me, come chat. Hello, hello. Hi. I'm Mickey Joe. it's very oh nice to meet you. I'm gonna Benefiting. stand back here so okay. everyone have a perch. can see. That's, That's a really good idea. Than me. You I'll both look fantastic. Yeah, Thank we thought you. we'd have like a little bit of a brown vibe, you know, yes. match. It must have been coordinated. This yes. could not have happened by chance. It happened 30 minutes before we were supposed yeah. to be here. Yeah, very, very, very. Are these the jackets? 
That is super similar, yeah. but you look amazing. Thank you, thank you, I try. And ultimately, I'm wearing double denim, so that's... Yeah, but it's cute. Possibly criminal, so it's fine. Are you excited about seeing the show today? Yes, yes, so excited. So excited to see somebody South Asian, like, on such a big place. It's like, awesome. It's so sick. Yeah, I love this. Really, really, really excited. Amazing. Now, the show sort of throws it back to teenage life and teenage perspectives. Um, and talks about like instructions and advice for surviving all of the stuff that can happen during that time. Do you have any advice you would give your teenage selves? Oh don't, my gosh. Don't be a pushover. That's like, good. Like, have a fucking spine. Sorry, have a spine. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mine would be listen to your mom. Yeah. <laughs> because um, I did it and that was tough. So listen to your mom, guys. Yeah, no, no, I, yeah, no I, like, we get it now. <laughs> yeah, now it makes sense at the time. <laughs> yeah. At the time, I'm just, yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 Well, amazing. I hope you enjoy the show. Lovely to meet you both. So excited, too. So nice to meet you, too. So nice to meet you, too. Have a great time. <laughs> this has gone down. I don't know if you can hear me, YouTube. Oh. We're just too far from the Wi-Fi. I don't know if there's a way we can ask to be up the other end because I had Wi-Fi up there. I don't think so. Audio only. Oh, can you hear me? You can hear me. Okay. Okay. I'm still with you. I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to spend like the whole time. We're not going to abandon this. Don't worry. We're going to make this work. I don't want to stop streaming. Don't stop streaming. We are. Oh. Hold on. Let me see if I, if I edge this way, we're going to make this work. Oh. Do you know what it is? Is there are too many people in London today. Do you want to see if you can connect to Wi-Fi? It's your phone. Let it go. Let it go. I don't get, why am I singing Let It Go? Is it because I said I wasn't going to let you go? Can't hold it back anymore. Do, 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 do. Oh, because it's frozen. I should sing Let It Go because it's frozen. Evidently that was lost on me. It's been an afternoon. Is there no way to? No. No, because I can't see. Oh, it's just searching. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 I'm back. Hello. Hello. Are we back? Let's edge back to the left. Let's go back where we were. This is an operation, let me tell you. Ooh. You are back. Yay! We're all still here. Thank goodness. How's Instagram managing? No, the story's still uploading. Our friends over on Instagram, um, how to tell your life. Yes, this is very live. This is happening right now. It is all going on. It's all going on over here. I'm seeing a whole stretch of London right now. I'm seeing emergency vehicles. I'm seeing people celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Whatever happens, in about 40 minutes time, we're all gonna go inside and enjoy a terrific piece of theatre. Um, we were just talking, by the way, with the last two guests I had about uh, the brilliant South Asian representation that is this show, because it used to be starring its writer, Rosie Day, and now the West End Transfer is starring uh, one of the stars of season two of Bridgerton, Charithra Chadran, uh, which is very exciting. trying to read through some of your live questions. Um, so there are lots of TV people here today. Some of the cast of Bridgerton are here. Um, there are some theater people here, various people. I'm gonna stand and sort of beckon, see if anyone wants to come and chat on live stream. Do you want to come and chat on the live stream? Come chat on the live stream. Oh my God, hey, I'm Mickey Joe. Very nice I'm to meet you. Step. I'm Rika, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Are you excited about seeing the show today? Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, the step is so awkward. Are we going up or are we going? I don't know. It's a, I don't I'm know. doing one up we and one do up. down. 
Okay, I'm going to do an up. Let's do up. There you go. There you go. You look fantastic. Also with the double denim vibe. Yeah, I'm wearing all Levi's today. They kindly gifted me the outfit. Uh, nice. Super cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, what do you do? Oh, I'm a theatre vlogger, YouTuber. This is uh, a lot of theatre fans watching here today, learning a bit more about the show. Um, uh, what, what are you expecting from the show today? What do you know about it? To be honest, I am coming in with a completely blank mind, but I'm super excited to support a fellow South Asian on theater. I don't see a lot of people who look like me on theater, and I'm just so excited to see her show, and yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, and that's sometimes the best way to see stuff is with absolutely no expectations. I saw a prior version of the show a few years ago. It's developed since then, um, so very excited to see it again, but you're going to have a great time. I hope you really enjoy. Me too. It's lovely to meet you. Very nice to meet you. I hope you enjoyed the what show. What was your name? Mickey Joe. Mickey Joe. Rika, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'll see you. See you. We're losing you. Oh no, Joe. Come talk to me, Luke Bayer. How are you? Hello, I am nice well. To see you. Nice right. to see you. Yes. How's things? Good. Fabulous Good. jacket. Thank you. Thank you. I've lost some rhinestones. It's kind of giving Jamie. It's only. It is. I wore it to Jamie a few weeks ago. We went to see it at the Peacock. There we go. Iconic. Love it. Yeah. Just like. Denim and Vibes. It's How fine. are you doing today? I'm so good, thanks. I'm so excited to see this. Yeah. What a way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. What, what, I didn't know it was St. Patrick's Day. I just thought there was loads of Irish people about. Yeah. My friend was like, obviously, Luke, everyone doesn't just normally wear green. Yeah. Here there we are. There are people here with their babies. Oh. They're like, I'm like, what's the plan? Oh, OK. <laughs> what, physically here or? Just like on the streets. OK. Wearing green. Iconic. Do you know what? Yeah. Live your life. Yeah. 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 Are you excited for the show? Um, I am, I'm very excited actually, super excited. I don't know much about it, so. So the vibes of the thing, it takes place in like a teenage bedroom. It's like advice on how to survive a whole bunch of like turmoils that can go along with like the challenging times. And we're kind of like trying to send people back to that time. What did your teenage bedroom look like? Paint the scene for Do us. Do you know what I actually had in my teenage bedroom? I had a massive Lord of the Rings poster. Love it, I love Lord of the Rings. And I had a huge Rent poster, the film poster. Of course. Iconic. Of course, I had I had Lord of the Rings, but it was specifically Orlando Bloom as Legolas. Fair play. B below Orlando Bloom in Pirates of the Caribbean, and so that was like, kind of like an Orlando Bloom shrine. That was there was yeah there were different Magic. reasons for that. Iconic. But, yeah. I love that. Amazing. 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 Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks so much. Nice Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you as always. And congrats you. about the announcement of Diva Thank Live so from much. Hell. Thank you so much. Thank you. Luke's going to be in Diva Live from Hell. It's going to the King's Head. Yep. And then, and then the Edinburgh beyond, Fringe. The so Edinburgh Fringe. Come see us. Come see us. Amazing. They're always asking for Edinburgh Fringe Yay. recommendations. Um, I saw Luke in the show at the Turbine. Loved it. You're great in it. Thank you so much. So excited. So we're going to see I'm excited. Again. Amazing. So excited. Lovely to see you. Thank Lovely to so see you. Much. Enjoy see you the show. Thank you. Someone just said my hair looked like Oscar Wilde. It's not deliberate, it's just how long it's got at this point. And I'm trying to do the TikToky middle part. I'm just trying to be down with the kids, y'all. I'm nearly 30. It's, I'm feigning youth. But we have a decent, got a decent flow of guests coming now. This is exciting. Is Instagram going to finally be my friend and go live? I don't know. I don't know if they will. But we keep trucking. Keep trucking, keep trucking. Love it anyway. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the kind words. You keep me going. Got more people arriving now. There's a buzz. There's an excitement for the show, for Rosie Day's writing, for Charithra Chandran's performance. I'm excited to see how the show has changed and evolved. I don't know if they're going to put in more, like, contemporary topical references. It's all about this teenage girl, um, and she is navigating a whole host of things, uh, some of which... Uh, resonate with me, some of which I know are going to resonate with other people, particularly young people, but also anyone who has gone through adolescence. We're going to try one more time to go live here on Instagram simultaneously. Too many, too many apps. There's too many apps. How are you all doing? Are you still with me here on YouTube? The tiny people here in my camera. Aaron's doing some filming as well. Hello, my love. No, Instagram is officially not cooperating. So we're just gonna stick with this one over here. Olivier Award winner predictions. That's coming, um, but in a little bit. Basically, I've written, I've written something about that that you'll be able to read, and I'll let you know where you can read it soon. 
Apologies for the car sirens. Um, if anyone's curious about this play, it's at the Garrick Theatre on Sundays. If anyone's just joining now, we're at the opening night of Instructions for a Teenage Armageddon in the West End, a play written by Rosie Day, all about the sometimes turbulent teenage experience, starring Bridgerton season two star Charitra Chandran. It's brilliant South Asian representation on West End stage, but also a brilliant rising star actress. I'm going to wave to my friend Olivia. That's Olivia Mitchell, theatre blogger. Rewrite this story. Go follow everywhere, everywhere you can. TikTok, Instagram. As soon as you're done here, that is, don't leave me. Don't leave me, tiny people in my camera. I need you. There's a lot going on. People are taking photos. I sort of don't want to obligate anyone to come and talk to me. Who am I? But also, I do want more friends. I'm standing too close. I need to... There's a step right behind me. You've heard people talking about it. So I've made the decision to be half on the step, and then I will model that behavior to whoever comes to talk to me. I'm going to hand my phone to Aaron because I've had a brainwave that if it connects to the Wi-Fi, we can get this. If we can get that story up, yeah. if you walk it over there, I think that might work. Did I see the previous run? I saw it at Southwark Playhouse. So this play has been a few places before. I saw it when it was at Southwark Playhouse, and so did Olivia, I think. Um, but yes, I saw it. I loved it. I wrote a review of it. That's how long ago this was. This was 2021. Different times. Whole different world. Oh, yes. okay. Come and chat to us. Hi. Hi. Hello. We be doing this afterwards when I can say uh, something about the show. We're just going to talk about your enthusiasm for the. Come, come, join me on a step oh, here, then we can small. see you. It's fine. Oh my God! Hey, Hi. I'm Mickey Joe. Very nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, Mickey Joe. How are you? Very, I'm very well, thank you. I'm excited to see this show. Me too. Can't wait. to be here. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of sends everyone back to their teenage years and talks about the turbulent things you might have to deal with mm -hmm. during that time. Mm -hmm. And we've been asking people to kind of transport us to what their teenage bedroom looked like. Oh, okay. What did that look like for you? I think I had um, Jason Priestley from Beverly Hills 90210 everywhere. Nice. Um, take that posters. Uh, who else did I have? I think Johnny Depp, Winona Ryder, all of that lot. Um, yeah, that was my bedroom. Yeah. An homage, and it was like, was it Smash Hits magazine? Cut up and stuck everywhere. Yeah. 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 We've had a lot of questions on here because it's just happened about the Olivier Awards. You know a little something about those as well. Have you been following the Olivier nominations that just came out? I had a little glance, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Congratulations yeah. to all the nominees. Exciting to see so many great new musicals this year. Yeah. Loads of new shows this year, loads of exciting things. I was very sad that my friend David Hunter didn't get a nomination for Time Traveller's Wife, I just want to say that. But he was terrific he in the show. He deserve one. David, we love David Hunter. And the people in the comments love David Hunter. He was fantastic in that show. And something like 400,000 costume changes. Something like that and Anytime. loads of magic tricks and things like that. Bless him. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Anyway, lovely to meet you. Enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you for you. chatting you to us. Bye. Ah! You never know. Oh, it's all going on. Come chat to me, come chat to me. I'm loving this suit, first of all. This is a heck of an outfit. Thank you. You can't appreciate the full thing that's going on here, but it's a lovely sort of a powder blue double-breasted suit situation. And I'm matching our producer, so we've come, we're in, we're in sync. Stylish, we're in sync. love it. How, how are you feeling today? What's the mood of the, what's the mood of the day? The mood is excited, genuinely excited. We've had so long of sort of saying this in a, in a blank rehearsal space that we're just really excited to get it in front of an audience finally. Actually. To have people see it, to share this story. We were just saying before, the themes of the show, mm -hmm. there's so many things that spoke to me personally when I saw it at Southwark mm -hmm. years ago, what, 2021? 20, yes. We think. 2020 and then 2022 and then 2024. It's sort of a buy, you know, every two years. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there's going to be so many things that speak to so many people mm. that resonate so personally. It's such a powerful piece. What do you What do you make of all that? Yeah, I, th I think Rosie always wrote this show for young people to give young people a voice and to hand the microphone back to young people. But also, it's a show for everybody. And what was so lovely, the matinee this afternoon, we had we had so many mums and daughters there this afternoon and just seeing that dynamic and that relationship is really special yeah. yeah do you have any advice that you would give to your teenage self sort of on par with the show 
Oh, so much, so much from the very deep to the more to the lighter. I think on the lighter, there's there's something in the show which is those one pound fifty earrings will infect your ears, which I genuinely think is a very a very sage and simple piece of advice I would pass down. That's my, that's been my terror recently. These are only very recent. Really? This is this is a turning twenty eight decision. Ear infection. Thank you. No, this is no, just. You okay. I'm, oh, you're saying you've got an ear infection. No, no, the earrings are new, They're and great. I'm terrified that. Hopefully it'll be Don't fine. Don't go to Claire's accessories. And that's be what fine. I was told. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Superdrug, which I feel like is just <laughs> only, one only just on one step up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. a step up nonetheless. Yeah. Well, so excited to see the show again and to see all of your work in it. And I know that people on here are as well. Amazing. Cheers, Thank man. you for chatting to us. Enjoy the show. That was the show's director, if you didn't catch that at the beginning. One of the many people we've been lucky enough to chat to today. We're about halfway through this carpet, and at some point, I am going to have to run in and go and see the show. I sort of hadn't considered that and how that's going to work. So we'll find out together. People being brought to me. Hello, hello, Hi. come join me on the step over here. Hi. Hello, I'm Mickey Joe. We're live on YouTube right now. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, my name's Ella. And my name's Dania. Amazing. And are you excited to see the show today? So excited. Absolutely. We came here a few years ago when it, before it came a West End transfer and we just like in love with it when Rosie was still yeah, yeah, on the yeah, stage. Yeah. So I'm so very excited to see it again. And it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, the acting is flawless and it feels so special to have something that feels like a representation of us as young women. I think it's a real privilege to be able to see theatre like that. It's so impactful and powerful. That's my favourite thing anyone said today. <laughs> no, that was that was very good, wasn't it? No, it's re I'm just really exciting to have something that does have that kind of mm. like a young voice and a profound voice, yeah. and is like having these important conversations. Um, what advice do you think is important for the teenage generations? Like either like things to take away from this show, or just in general. Yeah, I think just don't take yourself too seriously and definitely just enjoy life. And I think the show is so amazing at just um, really encouraging people to just be themselves and that life does throw a lot of curveballs, but you can get through them. And I think she said something about like all lights turned off can turn back on again at the end of the show, which I'm very excited to see again. I'm like obsessed with the show. It's really cool. Um, yeah. I mean, I mean, I feel I'm still a teenager myself, so I'm not sure how um, well equipped I am to advise. But I'll we'll ask you again in 10 years' time, yeah. and then you'll be like, what was this? <laughs> None this. of this. Um, no, I think that um, I think asking questions is really important, and I think there's sometimes that's something I've struggled with. I think not knowing the answers is okay, um, and you know, being around people that support you and help you in your learning process yes. is, is really, really important. Amazing. Very well spoken. Very Thank profound. You. And who has all the answers? I still don't have all the answers. I <laughs> don't no one has all the answers. <laughs> but we'll find out some more of them this evening. Exactly. I hope you enjoy the show. Lovely Very nice you. to meet you nice both. How lovely is everyone today? We're having such a lovely time. Come and chat to me. Hello, Hello both. Hello. Oh my How's God, going? hey. It's going very well. This is live. Yeah. Yes, we're live on YouTube. Cool, I'm barely in the, yeah, the, the all, shot. All I'm all to be I've been like We've got a step going okay. on, so it's all going on. Do you want to introduce yourselves to the people of YouTube? Hi, people on YouTube. I'm Ollie Higginson. I'm Megan Martin. So the last time I saw you on stage was at this theatre. Yes, in the that last is ridiculous, five years. isn't it? In the last five years, yeah. yeah. I think it was the last time I was here as well. So. What a time that was, because we were just edging out of, tentatively out of the end of the world. Yeah, it was, yes, it was, <laughs> and I uh, didn't know how to, you know, engage with the real world and human beings, and I was kind of... He still does ...coming it. to terms, still don't, yeah, still don't know what I'm doing, that, as, is, as is evidence here. So, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's lovely to be back, and I love Katie, you know. She was working on Lost of His as well, at that point. She was one of the producers of it. Katie Galloway produced Teenage Armageddon, so yeah. It's cool. Yeah, That's we're really excited cool. to see the show tonight. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So we've been asking people about sort of reconnecting with their teenage selves and what people's teenage bedrooms looked right. like. Oh, I feel no. like you may have a very interesting answer to this question <laughs> because it's like it was a teenage life, but then also like <laughs> a load of stuff going like. Yes, yes. Um, Definitely. I mean, I feel like I, I was not a big poster girly. I feel like mainly because the posters would have just been of people I was working with at the time because I was working for Disney, so it would have been a bit weird <laughs> to like have my coworkers' pa faces painted on my Basically wall. Basically, had herself on her. I did. I'm that narcissistic. Um, no, my room was actually it was very early 2000s. It was like raspberry colored with like zebra print everywhere. I took down my closet doors and I had like hanging beads. I thought I was really cool and interesting, but I was not. <laughs> yeah, mine was. I mean, I, I was just a classic kind of moody indie boy who had Coldplay and 
Radiohead on his walls and you know probably needed to hoover and like and probably make his bed. That was that was what my childhood bedroom looked like. Yeah, vivid. vivid. Yeah, it's really vivid. Didn't <laughs> smell great. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful picture you painted for us. I hope you both enjoy the show Thanks. and have a fantastic Thanks. evening. So Very nice lovely to, to meet you both. Thank nice you. to see you. Hello. We have some more. It's all happening now. Everyone's here. Come join me. Take a step over here. Hello. Oh my God. Hey, I'm Hi. Mickey Joe. Hi. Um, we have a lot of theatre fans here live on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Yes. Uh, I'm Tash. And I'm Nikita. And we're two chickpeas on a podcast. Amazing. So, are you excited to see the show we're this so, evening? Oh, yeah. We've been waiting. Yeah. We're really excited. Time to like relive our teenage years. Oh, yeah. Mentally, I'm still there, so I just need yeah. to be validated through this, really. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like mentally I left and then started going backwards. It and I happens. Feel like that. It happens. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm 29. You're 30. 30. Sorry, sorry shout out. 28. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm mentally always 17 in my brain at all yeah. times. At all times. Funnily enough, we've been asking people to kind of like think back to the teenage years and paint a picture of what the teenage bedroom looked like. Mm. What did that look like for you too? Uh, lilac. lilac, yeah. Lilac, groovy chick. Groovy chick. Groovy chick, groovy chick everything. everything. Yeah. And we still had Spice Girls memorabilia sort of around. Yeah. And Spice just Box, lunch, Spice Girls lunchbox, the yes. water bottle, the movie, and the like videotape. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then we, yeah. And then we went, and then the groovy chick era, and then we we collected the magazines. Like we would yeah, go to the yeah, news yeah, agents yeah, every day, yeah. every week, sorry, and get the magazines and like collect. Make a little kit. Yeah, right? and uh, and then I suppose like the thing of our time was like Angus thongs and thongs and purpose snogging, and that was like, and we had a bit of that going on, and all you Gen Zs who always look so perfect and immaculate, we looked mishmash <laughs> and crazy, and that's what our room looked like, clothes everywhere, fighting over mascara. Still do. Still do. So yeah, yeah. not much we love it. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Well, we'll be reliving maybe a little bit of that this evening. Yeah, really? thank you. Yeah, come and see. Amazing. Everyone's <laughs> going to come and see the show. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoy. Oh, it's all going on. It's all going on. Met lots of good friends, chatted to lots of great people. We've had all sorts coming and talking to us this afternoon. It's all going on. It's all happening here at the red carpet of instructions for a teenage Armageddon. If anyone's just joining us, we are live from the red carpet here chatting to some of the guests of tonight's opening night performance of Instructions for a Teenage Armageddon, written by Rosie Day, starring Charitha Chandran at the Garrick Theatre in the West End. Happens to be opening on St. Patrick's Day, not related, not thematically really a part of the show, but it's happening nonetheless. I am seeing in my peripheral vision lots of people I know, various friends, various people. Come yeah. chat to me, Piers. Hiya, yeah, how are you doing? Hello, I'm doing everybody. Well. Oh, I feel very tall suddenly. I'm not tall. I'm very short weird... in real life. No I'm one gonna knows what to do with this stuff. I'm going to do the linger and lean. I hope this door doesn't fall through. Are you having a lovely time? How's everyone doing? I'm having a lovely time. We're excited for the show. We're very excited for the show. It's a wonderful. It's wonderful seeing shows that have just been on a journey little by little to places they go to. Yeah. And here it is in the West End and how magnificent it is. It's a wonderful show. It's got a brilliant scene behind it all. And I'm so excited to see it um, and see how amazing it is here and I can't wait for everyone to see it too. It's a great success story for shows coming from those off West End spaces. Uh, I saw it at Southwark Playhouse, but even before then, it was Old Red Lion, Yeah. I want to say. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right, yeah. yeah. And we were trying to work out earlier if since Play That Goes Wrong, there's been another West End transfer for an Old Red Lion well, show. Well, exactly, and that's the thing. We talk so much about British theatre and how amazing it is, and with how hard it is in the arts right now, seeing shows making this journey, this is the lifeblood of it. We all started theatre in classrooms or in community centres or whatever it is. We didn't start it coming into West End things, and seeing shows having that pathway, showing the there's a route for everyone, no matter who you are, to show your creativity, show your talent, and smash through it all. And fair play to everyone here who's doing an amazing job on that. Amazing. What else can we say? Thank you for chatting to us. I hope you enjoy the it's show. It's alright. Have a great time the rest of here. I'll Lovely see you to see you. I've gone back up to the step now. I'm losing my mind. In all of the hubbub and confusion, there are now lots of people coming past. Will and Grace's Eric McCormick is here. Um, and we didn't get the chance to chat to him, but that's okay, because... What, what would I have said? Well, I would have told him that I loved him in The Cottage on Broadway, and I'm excited to see him in Wild About You at the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Maybe I'll still get a chance to tell him this evening. I don't know. But we have audience members arriving, we have guests arriving, we have producers, we have performers, all manner of people. 
here to see instructions for a teenage Armageddon. And it's a whole intersection of the film world, the influencer world, the theatre world. As my questions get more specific, you'll know it's a theatre person because I know them. That was uh, Piers Cotty Jones, who we just spoke to, who is a producer, who is lovely. Uh, hence his enthusiasm and passion for the theatre industry and for shows like this, making it to the West End. Make no mistake, this is a really great success story for, like we said, off West End shows, coming from those spaces, making it to the West End, like an Operation Mincemeat, which has just been nominated for a bunch of Olivier Awards. That was a very coherent five minutes I just had. Expect me to go to pieces again any minute now, because this is a lot. It's all happening. I think we're going to have someone else to speak to in just a moment. Everyone's taking very glamorous red carpet photos. I hope they're not photographing. Well, I'll pose in case, in case I'm getting caught up in the side of a candid shot. Always pretend you're laughing. That's the tip. Best unexpected thing that has happened so far. Um, uh, Will and Grace's Eric McCormick appearing was not unexpected because he was on the list, to be fair. Um, unexpected thing? I don't know. I don't know. It's all currently as anticipated. Yes. Come and chat to I'm us. I'm on here. A sensible choice. Um, oh, um, is it live? It is live. Oh, no. We're live on YouTube. To how many people? To about 65. Hi, 65 people. I'm Johnny, us. and I'm still on the step. This is Johnny Weldon. Everybody. Hi. Um, What's your name? Who is it? Mickey Joe. Nice to meet Incredibly you. Incredibly rude of me. Sorry. Oh my God. Hey, I'm Mickey Joe. Nice it's very Mickey, nice to Mickey meet Joe? you. Yes. Or first name or Mickey Joe? It's a it's a whole thing. So Mickey Dash Joe. Mickey Dash Joe. We'll go with that. I'm just Johnny. Just Johnny. But nice to meet you. It's fine. Nice to meet you. I saw you walking through Soho the other day outside of a fish and chip shop. Did you? Which yeah. Which two of my favourite things, fish yeah. and chips and Soho. So it's it's quite likely that was me. Yeah. It sounded like a good thing to tell someone, and then it came out a little bit creepier. <laughs> it sounds like code for the intended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, well, there you go. Sorry, I didn't say hello, Mickey Joe. It's fine. It's fine. Are you excited for today's show? Yeah, very much. The book's fantastic. Very excited to be here. There's a lot of exciting people, and uh, these things are always very fun to come to. So yeah, aren't they just? Aren't yeah, they just. We've been asking everyone to sort of think back to their own teenage years. Oh, yeah. And paint the scene of what the teenage bedroom looked like for you. I had I had um, I had uh, Homer Simpson on my wall. Nice. I had an Xbox 360. I had FIFA on the go. I had uh, uh, a, like a very generic uh, kind of girl ripped out of like Nuts and Zoo magazine yeah. that I stole from my like older brother's drawer. And Feels like a good writer. That's passage. about it, yeah. I think. Um, very generic teenage boy stuff. What was, here's a weird one, the last time, so the show's about instructions in yes. a very profound sense. I'm going to take that incredibly literally. Oh, yeah. What was the last time you read instructions? Was it Ikea furniture? Was it a BBC food recipe? Physically, the last instructions that you read in life? That would be uh, in assembling. Uh, I bought one of those pull-up bars uh -huh. that you clip onto the door, yeah. and I've never used it. Yeah. But I think like if you walked into my house and you saw that go, this is a guy who works out. Respect. Yeah, Respect. so it was that. And it was literally like a flat pack Allen key. Uh -huh. So pretty, pretty top tier DIY. -ing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen what two was yours? What was mine? I don't know. This, probably. This whole setup. You need an instruction for this. Argos. Just twist it. I take my job very roll. seriously. <laughs> what if maybe you pull and twist? I don't know. Maybe you do. Perhaps. What's that? Perhaps. That's the power that's making the ring light happen. Ah. Ah, very good. It's all going on. I was worried I was going to look at that and it was going to say seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> we just lost everyone. But we haven't. No. It's all good. It's all good. Well, enjoy the show. Thanks. Mickey Lovely Jones. to chat to you. Nice to meet you. Very man. nice to meet you. All right. Bye bye, everyone. I'm great at this, as you can tell. Um, we are nearing the time. Any word on how long the play runs? So the play is doing Sundays here at the Garrick because there is another show which is also fantastic here on the other days of the week. It's doing a bunch of Sunday performances for just over a month, I think. It's on Today Ticks. You can check it out on there. Um, but I've also put the details in the description of this live stream. You can catch the website in there. Oh, I wonder if we can get Esme to come and chat to us because Esme from Mamma Mia, I Have a Dream is on the red carpet and I know you know who that is because we talked about her enough here on YouTube. 
but everyone, understandably, wants to get in and go and see the show because it's starting in about 15 minutes. Does anyone want to chat to YouTube? Would you like to chat to YouTube Esme? These people know who you are. Oh, hello. This is Esme, everyone. You know Esme. Hi, nice to see everyone. Hi, nice to finally meet you properly. Very nice to meet you properly. Look how much I'm crouching. I'm stood on the step. I feel like I need to maybe Free, go down here. Just sidle down. There we go. Um, oh this my has gosh. been a whole thing for everyone. Has it? Okay, yeah. not just me. No. Um, how are you? I'm well. Good. I'm good. I'm good. excited for the show today. Yes, me too. I'm very excited. I don't know much about it, so... Sometimes the best to way to be. Yes, definitely. Yeah. It kind of toys on the idea of like instructions and advice that you would give to your younger self. Oh. Do you have any things thinking about like teenage self? Ooh. What would the advice be? Interesting. Um, I love that everyone's just arriving to the theatre and I'm like, give me some very profound <laughs> I know, insights. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> into um, your life. I don't know. I guess maybe I'll take some ideas from this. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. I'll, I'll get back to you. Yeah, it's one of those shows you see it and you're like, oh yeah, that made great uh, points. I could have done that. Um, yes, yeah. but anyway, yeah. lovely to Amazing. meet you, Bob. Lovely to meet you. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy the show. See you, bye. That was Esme from Mamma Mia, I Have a Dream. Brilliant actress, brilliant singer. Recently seen on ITV's Mamma Mia, I Have a Dream, competing for the role of Sophie Sheridan in Mamma Mia in the West End. I don't know how many more chats we're going to have because everyone is now very much wanting to get into the theatre and get to their seats, as should I at some point. If anyone has any more questions about instructions for a teenage Armageddon, do ask. I've lost my live chat again, but it'll come back. Got lots of high esmes. I shall pass them on. How are you doing? How are you all doing? Has anyone been here the whole time? Bit chaotic, wasn't it? I feel like you're on the wonk even now. Also, this is a fire door. It's all going wrong. But we're here. We've made it. It's all, it's all going well. Everyone's arriving. Everyone is heading into the show now. And we're here on the red carpet as the sun begins to set on St. Patrick's Day in London readying itself for carnage tinted with green, the likes of which I cannot even begin to comprehend. <laughs> Please review this. I will probably talk about this on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know if I'll do a full YouTube video, so make sure you're following me on those. Hello, Hi. Zachary James from Hades you? Town. How are you? Come and chat to our live stream very quickly. What's up, Instagram Live? Famously, you're far too tall for this framing yeah, going on here. Yeah. Um, lovely to see you. Good to see you. Very much enjoy your performance in the show. Thank you so much. The second act pits, in particular, from yeah. Like, young man onwards. That's the role. And all the stuff with Gloria. Just absolutely, Thank you. Thank absolutely you. fantastic. Thank you so much. Excited for this. Very excited. Yeah. Yes. How much do you know about this show? Uh, not much. I know uh, it's starring an incredible woman, written by an incredible woman, directed by an incredible woman. And, uh, They're both fantastic. Yeah. It's, uh, what it does a great job of is transporting us back to our teenage years. And I've been asking people what their teenage bedrooms looked like. Oh, man. Well, I always wanted a chandelier, and my parents didn't take me seriously, so they got me a paper lantern. That's and not that kind of sets the vibe of what my <laughs> teenage room was like. Because of Phantom <laughs> of the Opera, or just because no, of No, I just was like an elegant man trapped in a poor man's family. <laughs> aren't we all? Aren't we all yes, in some way? Yes, yes. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, fantastic. Good to see you. Very nice to meet you. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you, I shall. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you for chatting to us. <laughs> That was Zachary James from Hades Town. Everybody currently playing Hades in the West End production of Hades Town here at the West End's Lyric Theatre, which is just the other side of Leicester Square. If I seem starstruck, it's because I am. This always stays cool. This will never become normal, if anyone was wondering. But everyone is here, perhaps in about five, ten minutes, I will dash inside, but I will stay with you as long as I can. I'm doing my best, I'm doing my best. We've had a collection of people. I've seen a handful of Bridgerton stars, lots of like young actresses from lots of like Netflix series, Disney Plus series. Um, we've had some lovely and exciting theater people. Will and Grace's Eric McCormack, AKA Will of Will and Grace, might be the biggest star who has passed so far. Um, but yeah. 
very exciting times. A lot of buzz here at Instructions for a Teenager Armageddon. Some people really know this show and love this show and have seen it before. Some people know nothing about it. And that's what you want in an audience. Like, I'm ready for like the, rea the organic reactions of surprise and excitement and discovery. It's great to see a show you already know as part of an audience who doesn't. I think that's always something that's very fun. And I love paying attention to an audience, especially when I'm reviewing something. Um, got to go cooking dinner right now. Enjoy your dinner. Have a lovely time. I'll be eating after the show. Because currently my stomach is in my ears. <laughs> I can't even think about it. Everyone is heading in. Everyone is slowly disassembling. And momentarily, I think we might do the same. As long as the photographers are still here and the producers are still standing there, I will be here with my ring light. But any second now, I'm going to grab it and dash in like I'm jousting into the Garrick Theatre. As one final reminder, this is instructions for a teenage Armageddon here at the Garrick Theatre. I'll tilt to you so you can see. We're at the Garrick Theatre here in London's West End. The show is playing on Sundays, two shows a day on Sundays. We have a matinee, we have an evening um, for the next few weeks. You can get tickets on Today Ticks, but all of the information about the show is in the description of this video. This whole time I've been looking at myself. You're there. Hello, tiny people in Aaron's phone. Thank you for joining me during this past hour. You've been a lovely comfort on this very intense carpet experience. But I've had fun because I got to chat to people about theatre, which, which is what we love. That's all I do. That's the whole thing. I hope you've enjoyed. We've had some really brilliant insights, actually. Some really fascinating things. Seeing some more of my friends arriving. I'll talk to them after the show. The show is just about to start. At some point, maybe someone will nod to me. But anticipate that any second now, Aaron is um, around running tech support, helping. But people are now officially dashing inside. And I'm thinking this may be it. I'm waiting for a thumbs up. Are we, are we wrapping up? Are we good to go? Cool. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's been lovely having you here. If you haven't already heard enough about why to come and see this play, check out more about it in the description of this video. Go make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok because I'll be talking more about the show over on those platforms. But it's a brilliant piece of theatre for so many reasons. I'm going to go see the show now. I will tell you what I think about it afterwards. Thank you for joining me, and I hope that everyone is staying safe and that you have a stagey St. Patrick's Day. Bye-bye, everybody. How do I end this? Oh, my gosh. That one. Bye-bye.